Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Wiki. Welcome, Jacob from Tripod, for our NBA preview for this week. Hey, mate. Happy New Year. You're looking uh, very aerodynamic, very sharp, very polished uh, for our first show of the new year. Have you had a good break? Hell yeah, man. Had a great break. I was telling Jacob, I tried to copy his de- hairstyle, but I went too far with it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I don't have awesome. to do much. I, mine just falls out. Yours looks a little bit more deliberate, so yours looks a little bit more professional. Yeah, I actually waited till New Year's. I've been um overseas and, and had quite a few like weddings and sort of family things on. And as soon as all the responsibilities were done, it was time to fly back. So I thought, stuff it. I'm going to shave my head, get ready for the heat of uh the Sydney or well, the Aussie summer. But um, let's get straight into it. Jacob, I hope you had some time off over the break and you actually got to watch a bit of um basketball and also some NFL action. Yeah, I've been able to watch heaps of the US sport because uh, a lot gets played over the holiday period in America, including college sports. It's been a massive week of college sport, but we're going to touch on the pros today and uh, looking at an NBA doubleheader for tomorrow. Sweet. All right, let's get straight into it. Um, Just before we do so, I'll say uh, you can Google Wiki Linktree. You'll find the podcast that we're doing now, the odds comparison tool that you can you can see on your screen, our Discord and everything else is free on our site. And obviously, Tripod Pundits Tips Forum. Um, check out the Facebook group. More than 25,000 people on there to check out Jacob and, and the community stuff. And the first game we've got tomorrow is in the East. We've got the Bulls at the Knicks. Now, what can people see who are watching this? They can see the screen share? Yes. Is that right? So it's funny. The um some of the bookies still haven't updated the rosters because there's been a big trade in New York and OG Ananobi is in and I don't see his name on the list of players, but I do see a couple of players like RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly, who I would not recommend backing to score or um, register any sort of stats for the Knicks. They don't play for the Knicks anymore. Those two have been shipped to Toronto. And Ananobi is in. So obviously, I mean, if you if you were to bet on any player that uh, doesn't play there anymore, that's going to void. But it is funny how even the bookies can be lagging there. Um, however, it's a bit, I don't know if you necessarily get value on other Knicks players because Ananobi's coming in and it's a bit of a like for like um, in the production that he's going to take over. And he's played one game for New York so far and they were impressive. They actually beat, Minnesota uh, to snap a three-game losing streak after being on the road and having a winless road trip. So New York's a strong favorite here at home against Chicago. Chicago did lose again today, but they've shown signs of life, I've got to say, the last few weeks. I thought their season was nearly a throwaway, but I think something like a 10-6 and six in their last 16, which actually just keeps them in the hunt for the playoffs Chicago's another team that may look to make a move, trade someone like Zach Levine. He's he's out at the moment. In any case, they probably don't want to risk him uh, in case they would like to trade him and keep that or trade him if, if he is considered an asset. He's on such a big contract that complicates matters. But more importantly, as far as personnel goes for Chicago, Kobe White may be out for this one. So that's who I'm looking at. And that is why you will notice when you do look at the uh, player props as Nicole scrolls there, that all the players listed are New York players. That's because if Kobe White is in or out, is going to impact dramatically what the odds should be for the rest of the Bulls. Whether White's there, he's going to take on a fair share himself. If he's out, it's going to open up opportunity for others. He hurt his ankle, I believe, the game today and uh, didn't return. So I think it would be unlikely that he'd be able to play tomorrow. So the opportunity I'm going to look for, you're going to have to wait and see you're going to want to see White confirmed out. And then the guy I think that picks up the load is the veteran DeMar DeRozan. Only had 16 tonight, but he averaged 24 through December. And I would look at DeMar DeRozan at the milestones 25 plus and even 30 plus. You know, understanding, as I've said before, in these games, you take a little bit of a risk when a game could be a blowout. Uh, But I just think the Bulls' recent form gives them a chance to be competitive. I said they lost today, but just a couple of days ago, they beat Philly as well. And and players and teams get up for the trip to Madison Square Garden. So no Bulls props up yet due to the uncertainty around White. What I'm saying is monitor that and DeMar DeRozan is going to be the player I'm looking at. Awesome. I love the little uh, reference to Madison Square Garden. It reminded me of watching wrestling back in the late 90s. A little bit of a niche <laughs> reference. And it's the mecca for basketball. A lot of these players and DeMar DeRose is kind of in the twilight of his career. Like they do like to put on a show. So I think uh, playing player props over at MSG is not a bad way to go. And then we move to another iconic 
venue. It's got a new name now, Crypto.com Arena. I think it goes by in LA. One of the websites the that Lakers... hasn't gone down yet for uh, for being fraudulent. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Because Miami, that they, they were um, what what's the one that that did get busted? FTX, FTX. something like that. Yeah, so yeah. Miami was um playing in FTX Arena for a while there, not anymore. But anyway, this game's in LA. The Heat played the Lakers. These are the two final opponents of the Denver Nuggets in last year's playoffs. So you, the Heat champions of the East and the Lakers made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. And neither are going as strong this season. They're both off back-to-back losses. It's funny because the Lakers, I mentioned last time we chatted, I think they won the in-season tournament. They had to go 7-0 and to win that. But outside of that tournament, they're just 10 and 17, struggling a bit this season, currently 10th in the West. Miami a bit better, fourth in the East, but will be without their best player, Jimmy Butler, in this one. And for the Lakers, again, as has been the case numerous games this season, their best two players, LeBron and uh, and AD, are on the injury report as game time decisions. So it's tough to judge until you get confirmation. I tend to, LeBron's on that list, right? So the bookies are putting up props for LeBron and, and AD as if they're playing. So I'm assuming that they are both playing in this one. The Lakers aren't on a back-to-back. But in any case, I'm going to avoid that uncertainty and just look towards the Heat. And I like both their guards. Uh, I like but the, I'll, I like Tyler Hero, but the player I will actually look for is the one you've got kind of center of screen there. Uh, the less heralded rookie, Jamie Jack- Jacquez. And he was the first round pick in the draft for the Heat. And I think they've found another gem there because he wasn't a high pick, maybe like around the 20th, 17th pick in the draft, I think the Heat had uh, after a trade. And and he's actually had his role expanded to be one of the key playmakers for Miami. So I'm looking at that 20 plus points threshold there for Jamie Jacquez. 290, I saw when I looked up on the odds comparison tool. Now, looking at his kind of his last month of games, I think he only hit it three times in December. But what I noticed as well is he had a lot of games, I think six or more, where he was uh, right around 17 plus. So when he didn't hit 20, he was knocking on the door. And I think his role just continues to expand and evolve with the heat. And I think he's a player a lot of people don't know about yet and wouldn't necessarily be betting on. So I don't mind those odds at all in what should be a beauty of a game. No, awesome. Okay, cool. Um, and just to to move away from NBA just for a second, obviously Jacob and I go all in on, on the rugby league and, and going all in on NRL season coming up. Um, we're probably going to have a chat sort of in the next couple of weeks when I get back home to sort of discuss plans for NRL. So, you know, I always do say, obviously follow you know, Tripod and Wiki on socials because I think a lot of the stuff that's coming up for the NRL season, we'll, we'll discuss a little bit about it on, on the NFL and NBA pods, but a lot of it, a lot of it will be on social media. So um, the exciting time of the year with a lot of American sport, obviously the cricket's on at the moment um, and and not too long until in our own AFL season as well. And my probably my favorite for this time of year is NFL because we get into the playoffs. So that's the pod True. we're going to record next. If people are interested, I'm sure they'll find it in the same feed that they obviously have discovered this one on. Hell yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, we are going to start recording the NFL pod. I'll uh, catch you in a sec, Jacob. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Thank you.